Inland, Lights and Shapes, Rule 24, Towing and Pushing, Section 83.24. A power-driven vessel when towing astern shall exhibit, instead of the light prescribed either in Rule 23A1 or 23A2, Sections 83.23A1 and 2, two mast headlights in a vertical line. A vessel towing or pushing shall carry masthead lights in a vertical line instead of the forward or after masthead light mentioned in paragraph 23A1 and 23A2, respectively. When the length of the tow, measuring from the stern of the towing vessel to the after end of the tow exceeds 200 meters, three such lights in a vertical line. Side lights, a stern light, a towing light in a vertical line above the stern light, and when the length of the tow exceeds 200 meters, a diamond shape where it can best be seen. When a pushing vessel and a vessel being pushed ahead are rigidly connected in a composite unit, they shall be regarded as a power-driven vessel and exhibit the lights prescribed in Rule 23, Section 83.23. 33 CFR 90.3 interprets a composite unit as a pushing vessel and a vessel being pushed ahead that are rigidly connected by a mechanical means, so they react to sea and swell as one vessel. Mechanical means does not include lines, wires, hawsers, or chains. Integrated tug and barge units, ITBs, fit the composite unit definition because the tug and barge connect to form one vessel, and they react as one vessel on all axes of movement. Articulated tug and barge units, ATBs, on the other hand, although mechanically connected, do not satisfy the composite unit definition. ATBs can move as one vessel in the fore and aft axes and also in the side-to-side -side axes. However, they pitch independently about the coupling. A power-driven vessel when pushing ahead or towing alongside, except as required by paragraphs B and 1 of this rule, shall exhibit, instead of the light prescribed either in Rule 23A1 or 23A2, Section 83.23A1 and 2, two mast headlights in a vertical line, side lights, and two towing lights in a vertical line. Under the International Navigation Rules, a power-driven vessel pushing ahead or towing alongside, excluding a composite unit, does not show a towing light on the stern, only a stern light. Under the Inland Navigation Rules, a power-driven vessel pushing ahead or towing alongside excluding a composite unit, will show two towing lights and no stern light. A power-driven vessel to which paragraphs A or C of this rule applies shall also comply with Rule 23A1 and 23A2, Section 83.23A1 or 2. This paragraph attempts to clarify masthead light requirements for vessels 50 meters or more engaged in pushing ahead, towing astern, or alongside. In such a case, if masthead lights for towing or pushing are carried forward in a vertical line, an after masthead light is required. This after masthead light is optional for towing vessels less than 50 meters. Similarly, if masthead lights for towing or pushing are carried aft in a vertical line, then a forward masthead light is required. A vessel or object other than those referred to in paragraph G of this rule being towed shall exhibit side lights a stern light, and, when the length of the tow exceeds 200 meters, a diamond shape where it can best be seen. This rule addresses lighting and day shape requirements for vessels or objects being towed that are not inconspicuous, partially submerged. On August 8, 1996, the U.S. Coast Guard issued Safety Alert 06-96 entitled Tug and Barge Advisory. According to the advisory, during the summer of 1995, a recreational boater narrowly escaped serious injury following the collision of his vessel with a tug and barge departing Portland, Maine. In that accident, the tug was towing a barge astern on a single tow wire at night. As the tug and barge headed for sea, the tug was setting the barge out on a long tow wire, a practice which is normal and necessary for the safety of the tugboat's crew. The recreational boat saw the tug but did not realize it was towing a barge. The recreational boat waited for the tug to pass and then, at a slow speed, tried to pass immediately behind the tug. It then struck the towing cable, was immediately pulled down by the stern, and was swamped. Accidents of this type are often fatal. 
In this case, only the slow speed of the recreational vessel and a quick rescue prevented the incident from becoming a catastrophe. Provided that any number of vessels being towed alongside or pushed in a group shall be lighted as one vessel, except as provided in paragraph F3 of this rule. If the vessels being pushed ahead or towed alongside are secured together in a group, they shall be lit as one vessel. A vessel being pushed ahead, not being part of a composite unit, shall exhibit at the forward end side lights and a special flashing light. It also makes perfect sense not to have a stern light on the vessel being pushed ahead. The vessel pushing ahead would obscure a sector of the stern light. Moreover, the light will interfere with the boat operator's night vision. A vessel being towed alongside shall exhibit a stern light and at the forward end, side lights and a special flashing light. If the vessel is towed alongside, a stern light will not be obstructed. When vessels are towed alongside of both sides of the towing vessel, a stern light shall be exhibited on the stern of the outboard vessel on each side of the towing vessel, and a single set of side lights as far forward and as far outboard as is practicable, and a single special flashing light. An inconspicuous, partly submerged vessel or object, or combination of such vessels or objects being towed, shall exhibit... If it is less than 25 meters in breadth, one all-round white light at or near each end. If it is 25 meters or more in breadth, four all-round white lights to mark its length and breadth. If it exceeds 100 meters in length, additional all-round white lights between the lights prescribed in paragraphs G1 and 2 of this rule, so that the distance between the lights shall not exceed 100 meters, provided that any vessels or objects being towed alongside each other shall be lighted as one vessel or object. A diamond shape at or near the aftermost extremity of the last vessel or object being towed, and... The towing vessel may direct a searchlight in the direction of the tow to indicate its presence to an approaching vessel, where from any sufficient cause it is impracticable for a vessel or object being towed to exhibit the lights prescribed in paragraph E or G of this rule. All possible measures shall be taken to light the vessel or object towed or at least to indicate the presence of such vessel or object where from any sufficient cause it is impracticable for a vessel not normally engaged in towing operations to display the lights prescribed by paragraph A, C, or J of this rule. Such vessel shall not be required to exhibit those lights when engaged in towing another vessel in distress or otherwise in need of assistance. The operative term here is not normally engaged in towing operations. In other words, a commercial towing vessel may not qualify under this paragraph to tow without lights and shapes required in this rule. All possible measures shall be taken to indicate the nature of the relationship between the towing vessel and the vessel being assisted. The searchlight authorized by Rule 36, Section 83.36, may be used to illuminate the tow. Notwithstanding paragraph C of this rule, on the western rivers, except below the Huey P. Long Bridge at mile 106.1 above head of passes on the Mississippi River, and on water specified by the Secretary, a power-driven vessel when pushing ahead or towing alongside, except as paragraph B of this rule applies, shall exhibit side lights and two towing lights in a vertical line. A power-driven vessel, that is not a composite unit, when pushing ahead or towing alongside, above the Huey P. Long Bridge at mile 106.1, above head of passes on the Mississippi River, does not need to carry masthead light. A vessel without a masthead can pass under some low-lying bridges without needing to lower its mast. Applicable coast pilots and river maps books contain clearance and other valuable information for bridges.